My name is Charles St. Charles. I'm a North American nature and wildlife photographer. Many people wanted to reconnect with nature and find ways to help nature, but they didn't know where to start. Some of what you'll see takes place across the continent, and some could be taking place within walking distance of where you live. It's all part of nature, and it's all an opportunity for you to explore and get involved. The second to third weeks in March are the peak of the largest migration by mass in North America. Around 600,000 sandhill cranes migrate to the Platte River in Nebraska. It's loud, and beautiful, and unforgettable. The National Audubon Society's Row Sanctuary has public blinds that you can sign up for to watch the cranes up close. Volunteers play a big role here, so maybe you can help out if you visit. These birds are huge, often standing four to five feet tall. They congregate in the Platte River overnight, standing in the shallow water during the night so that they're less vulnerable to predators. And yes, they sleep while standing in the water, often on a single leg. For most of the sandhill cranes, the Platte River is just a stopover on the way to other parts of the continent. They congregate at the river, but when they finally leave, they fan out across the continent, like members of a family reunion heading back home. This is an ancient migration. It's been going on for longer than we have history. The calls of the cranes have a primordial and enduring quality. One time I was filming the cranes in the pre-dawn light, and through the sound of the cranes I could hear two elderly women murmuring. They were trying to share a spotting scope to watch the cranes, which is hard to do. So I set up a camera with a long lens and the video displayed on the back of the camera so they could both watch up close at the same time. I continued my work and came back in the morning just after the sunrise. They both had tears in their eyes but were smiling. I wonder how many people have watched the cranes migrate over the years and reflected on how many thousands of years the cranes have returned to the Platte River and what we need to do right in order to keep the cranes coming back for thousands of more years. When you get done watching this, please leave a post about projects that you know of or maybe have worked on to help nature. I'd like to cover more stories like that and pass on the inspiration of what we can accomplish when we try.